This is a very interesting case that was shared with me by Dr. Antonina Kalmakova from CSD Healthcare in Kyiv, uh, Ukraine. And uh, the patient was a elderly gentleman in his uh, late 70s who presented with a skin nodule that was clinically thought to represent lymphoma. Now, although the site's not given, uh, we can see that the dermis is extremely thick, uh, that there, there's the extent of dermis, and the site that most commonly looks like this is the back. So I'm going to make a guess that this is uh, back skin. And um, at scanning magnification, one can see that there's an infiltrate uh, in the papillary dermis, and it's conspicuous in the subcutaneous fat. And the other thing you might notice, even at this low magnification, is that the dermis appears busy. There are lots of hyperchromatic nuclei dotted around between the thick collagen bundles. Now, the infiltrate seems most conspicuous in this part of deep dermis subcutaneous fat, so I'm going to have a look at that first. So let's see that in higher magnification. Now there's a, there's a dr very dramatic and, and beautiful appearance. The infiltrate is composed of tumor cells with hyperchromatic, variably sized nuclei, some small and some very large. And uh, one can see very obviously that there are large intracytoplasmic vacuoles. And I'll just put that to maximum magnification. Now look at that, isn't that just so pretty? There are the vacuoles. So these are signet ring cells. There's a large vacuole which shoves the nucleus right to the edge. So that's a signet ring cell there. There's another nice one there and there and there. So one can make the observation at this point that one's dealing with a, a signet ring cell tumor. Now, what, what's the differential diagnosis of such a, such a lesion? Well, most commonly signet ring cell tumors represent metastases, particularly from the, uh, from the stomach and the colon. But there are a lot of other tumors that may show signet ring cell change, either in part or in whole. Uh, signet ring cell melanoma can look exactly the same as this. And other tumors that form signet ring cells include squamous carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, lymphoma, uh, angiosarcoma, epithelioid sarcoma, uh, and probably many other tumors. And the signet rings most often are due to the presence of intracytoplasmic mucin, but it, it, it can be due to a large vacuole, large vacuoles of glycogen, or it may represent keratin or, or other, other filaments. So with that in mind, let's, let's go back to the, um, scanning view and we'll have a look here to see the papillary dermis in in uh, greater detail and um, there we are there and uh, I think the diagnosis is getting a little bit easier because we're, we're seeing almost epithelial clusters of cells some containing cytoplasmic vacuoles and others with abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm. And here we see a quart of the cells. Um, and let's have a look elsewhere. If we, uh, again, we're getting cords of cells. So I, I think, I think that this is most likely an adenocarcinoma. There's a cluster of epithelial looking cells. Now there's a little vacuole there uh, 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 with a, an inclusion. You might even wonder about a red cell. So I suppose 
on that field on its own epithelioid angiosarcoma might enter the differential diagnosis. I think uh, melanoma is quite a, re quite a reasonable thought too. Um, so we'll, we'll have a look ar around. The, the tumour goes very close to the junctional region, but I don't really think I'm convinced there's junctional change, although, well, there is some basement membrane there, so I, I think that's probably tumour just abutting on the lower epidermis than actually forming a, a, a junctional nest. What I think I'll do is I'll go down and look at the other side and see if that shows us anything, uh, anything extra that might be interesting or, or helpful in coming to a final diagnosis. Let's go to the high par. And, uh, well, it's just the same as the other side, isn't it? I think it's more clear that the epidermis is normal, so I think we can forget about metastatic carcinoma. I just wanted to look at the reticular dermis just to show you there that um, the, the uh, tumor infiltrate extends all the way through. There's a lovely signet ring cell in the mid reticular dermis and another one. So this infiltrate goes all the way from the uh, junctional region, the, uh, derm the, retic the papillary dermis all the way down into subcutaneous fat. And um, so what can we do about this? Well, to my mind, the first thing we could do is just to check whether this is mucin or not. If we started using immunohistochemistry, I suspect we'd be using a host of different antibodies and that might be very costly and, and in fact time wasting when a special stain might just clinch the diagnosis. So I'm going to come out of the H&E and we're going to look at this, this slide, which is a, a PAS Alcyon Blue. And we'll look at that one. I just want to straighten that if you don't mind. There, that's very nice. And if we look at that at a higher magnification, we, we can, well, the answer is becoming obvious, isn't it? Because there are the, uh, cyto the cytoplasmic inclusions contain very striking alcyon blue positive material. Uh, and this confirms the diagnosis of uh, mucin secreting adenocarcinoma, giving rise to signet ring cell change. And so, the differential is really only one of two things. It's either metastatic signet ring cell carcinoma, which is the most likely diagnosis. But on the other hand, one can get primary signet ring cell carcinoma, which mostly arises in the eyelid and a few cases have been documented in the uh, axilla. But I th as I've said, I think this is skin from the back and I'm not aware of that tumour having been described at that location. As it happens, uh, getting some more clinical information, we discover that the patient had a gastric carcinoma. So this is, in fact, a lovely example of metastatic signet ring cell carcinoma in the skin. And while I was thinking about this video, I had a look in the literature, and there's a very nice paper from 2012 in Dermatology Online by Lauchler and colleagues on signet ring cell tumours in, in the skin. And I would recommend you have a read of that. It's quite useful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.